Hey everybody, uh, today I'm doing the most ambitious meal yet. This is, uh, it's Fran's birthday, and for fear of being murdered in my sleep, I shan't tell you how old she is, but I will say she looks damn good for her age. Anyway, so I asked her to email me while she was at work and I was napping, uh, her, her request for dinner, and uh, she said chicken pot pies. Couldn't have said spaghetti. Really, Fran? Anyway, so I called my friend who is the baker, and he told me how to make a dough. Let me tell you how I did it. I took a cup and a half of flour, put it in a mixing bowl. I took two sticks of butter, cut them into little chunks, put them in the mixing bowl. I also put some seasoning. I just put some black pepper and some salt. And then you knead it all together, and it's kind of grainy. And then you put three tablespoons of very cold water. And then knead that all together, make a little ball, wrap it in saran wrap, put it in the freezer for an hour. It was a little over an hour that it was in the freezer. Now it's chilling out in the fridge, and we're going to make it into the dough we need for our... We're doing uh, four mini pot pies in these things. How cool is that? An individual one each, right? These were the best buy. Anyway, uh, also to that, because I love a lot of flavor, um, to the water that's meant to be ice cold, I did. I melted one chicken bouillon cube into it, and then I put a couple ice cubes. I got it ice cold, and then I used, so the three tablespoons of water I used had the uh, the chicken bouillon in it. Okay, I've got some stuff going on. This is going to be kind of choppy. We're going to have to come back in segments because this is a big thing. Um, plus, I'm freezing, which is always cool. Anyway, I'm just going to show you what I've got going on so far. Um, I don't have anything in this pot on my stove top yet. It's a big old soup stew pot, okay? Uh, first, I need to put some butter in there. And you got to use regular butter for this kind of stuff. When it's like good old home cooking, I'm going to put a decent, uh, it's a quarter of a stick of butter. So two tablespoons. And I'm going to throw this in here. I'm also going to turn the burner on. Woo! Okay. I'm just going to let that go. Now I've got two potatoes, two russet potatoes that I have uh, uh, cut up into little cubes. I'm going to put them in there. I've got three gorgeous pieces of celery that I've cut into little pieces, and also uh, three carrots, do you see them, that I have peeled and cubed up. Uh, and then I've got one large, very large white onion that I've cut into decent sized chunks. I've also got uh, five gigantic cloves of garlic, come on, really, um, in here that I've minced in my food processor. I've got all the leaves from those pieces of celery that I've chopped up, and I've got the zest of one lemon. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in first. I'd like to know why it's already acting like it's burning. Really? I'm going to throw the three chicken bouillon cubes in there. Oh my gosh, that smells so good once it hit. I'm going to throw the onions in there. Alright, I just want to give them a nice little grill. I'm going to throw just a, a little tiny bit of black pepper in there. Um, I'm going to get a grill on. I'm going to put a little bit of butter too because it's like melting real fast. Um, and then I'm just going to add my liquid, my chicken, some seasonings, and then it's going to hang out. I'm going to let it cook, boil, do what it needs to do. For I would normally do about an hour. I'm going to do this 45 minutes. Fran's going to need to eat at some point tonight. That smells so freaking delicious. I'm going to go ahead and throw these in there now. This is the, um, the celery and carrot mixture. I'm going to leave the potatoes out for a while. I'm going to throw them in in the last about 10 minutes of, uh, of cook time, because otherwise they'll just mash up in there. But the potatoes are going to give you a nice starch. Now I've got four pieces of chicken. I'm just going to do a touch of flour in there. I really want this to be thick. Uh, we're going to make a roux later, but just for now, I'm going to put just a little bit of flour. Just kind of sprinkle it over the veggies and stuff. And cook it in. Just a couple pinches. Okay. So far, so good. You just put that kind of coated in here. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I've got four pieces of... Uh, Bone-in, skin-on chicken that I have thawed. I'm going to throw these bad boys in there. I've got two 
left over, and I'm going to use those for some southern fried chicken uh, later on. For now, though, we're sticking to the pot pies, okay? Stay with me, stay with me. Remember, I've got the chicken bouillon cubes in there, and now I'm going to throw a lot of wine is going to go in here. Heavenly, heavenly, heavenly. A lot of wine. All right. I'm going to throw some water and the rest of this butter, a lot of butter. And I'm going to also put some cream in here. Then it's going to all boil together and be lovely. So that last piece of butter, last thing I'm going to do is some water. And I'll measure it out for you. So if you want to do this at home. Really, people, really, this is my life. Welcome to it. Okay. I've got one cup, I've got two cups, I've got three cups, I've got four cups, four cups of water. And we're just going to do some seasonings now. Don't go anywhere. I've got sage. Definitely want some sage in here. This is the powdered sage. Um, God, that's it. That was a good teaspoonful of powdered sage. We're going to do more black pepper. We really need some of this in there. For shizzle, my nizzle. Alright. It's another real healthy teaspoon of black pepper. And now I'm going to come down here. I don't want dill. I don't want crushed red. Can you, uh, are you hanging out there? Are you alright without me for a minute? I'm going to do some basil. Again, we've got a decent sized uh, uh, palm folder, there, so about a te uh, teaspoon. <laughs> I'm going to do just a little bit of sugar, but not much. And I'm going to do some Cajun seasoning. This is a half of a teaspoon of sugar. Some Cajun seasoning. Come on, people. And a uh, bay leaf or two. Ah, you said bay leaf, and your name is Baylor. How co wink a dinky Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm being quiet. One, two, these aren't full leaves, they're all choppy. Three, and four little uh, choppy, or one really nice, decent sized one would be fun. And then the Cajun, another teaspoon, yeah, or, uh, yeah. Let me just put some cream in there. I'm not using creme brulee cream. That'd be crazy. And I don't have half and half, do I? Oh, I do. Oh, Jim will kill me. So I'm just going to put some milk. It's fine. Okay. About a uh, quarter cup of milk. By the way, this is my big ball of dough that I have hanging out now in the fridge. So I should probably just bring it out. because it's, it's real... Uh, Firm. Okay. Let me stir all this together, and then we're good to go. I'm going to bring you over to look at it. it smells divine. Don't you wish you had a roommate like me? <laughs> all right. You see? Cool. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the lid on it, uh, and I'm going to look at the clock. It is 7.05. I'm going to come back at about 5 to 8, so we're going to give that 50 minutes. Um, I am, in the meantime, I'm going to put those potatoes in, like I said, 10 minutes before I'm done. So at 45, after 7, uh, get those cooked up. I did leave the skins on. The potato also is going to, the starch in it is going to thicken this up as well. The combination of that, the flour, and the roux that we're going to make, because we want it to be real thick. Uh, we're going to add some cheese later, too. But if you add the cheese now, it's going to burn on the bottom of your pan, and then you're going to be real mad at yourself, and you're going to cry. So anyway... That's what I've got going on. Um, I may or may not add corn, depending on how well my digestive system is feeling. But uh, we're gonna, I'm going to stop here. We're going to come back, and it's going to be a process, kids, but it's going to be worth it. Happy birthday, Fernelda! Hey, welcome back to uh, part two of this long segment. Uh, stuff's still boiling away. It's boiling down to almost nothing. The potatoes are in there. Here's my four pieces of chicken. When the skin starts to just kind of fall apart, or the, yeah, like that, <laughs> Plop it down. That's when you know that's good to go. So I took it out and I'm letting it cool because I know from experience when you chop this stuff up, it hurts like a mother. 
if it's still hot. Okay, so this is still boiling away in the back. This is my big ball of dough, and I left it in the freezer for too long. I'm letting it thaw. Uh, but now we're just going to make up the roux. So I'm going to turn this burner... Mother Hubbard. I'm going to turn this burner on. We're just going to make up a quick roux. Then we're going to add some cheese to that. I'm going to chop up the chicken and put it back in there. We're going to be good to go. i got a teaspoon of flour to one tablespoon of butter. Cook it. It's gonna be yummy. Cook it, cook it, cook it. Cook it, cook it, cook it. Okay. There we go. You want it to turn kind of a um kind of a funky color, I don't know how to describe it. It's a yellowy brownie, and if I tell you what it looks like, it sounds kind of gross, but that's what you want to turn it to, okay? So, that's done. I'm just going to get that in here. I'm going to give it a stir, and I'm going to turn this down to a simmer. Ow. We're going to add our cheese in a little bit. Just want to make sure you saw my roux. Let me give this bad boy a stir. Let me show you how, how uh, it's cooked down to almost nothing, too. Not really almost nothing, but it's definitely half of what it was before. Come on over. Come on over. Don't be afraid. Can you see how down that is? It smells fantastic. After you put the roux in, though, you want to make sure you keep stirring it for a minute so that it doesn't just sink to the bottom and stick. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let this dough thaw out some more. I'm going to let this cook down until it's real thick. I'm going to cut up the chicken, throw it back in there, and turn this off. Then we're basically good to go. Once the dough's thawed out, we'll form our little uh, pot pies. We'll pop them in the oven for probably about 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, so meet me back uh, in two and two. Uh, it, for you, it's going to be like a second. For me, it's going to be like eternity. Okay.